Welcome to TRS Clips. This was created so that you can go on a binge watching experience every time you want to enhance your brain with information. Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Because you are an Indian archaeologist um, working with the Archaeological Survey of India, I'm assuming you've gone to a lot of temples all over the country. Yep. Uh, have there been temples where parts of them are not allowed to be excavated or not allowed to be explored? Yeah. There are. What is the reason for that? Un instability of the structure. Okay. There's nothing like, you know, how in uh, they say with the pyramids, you unlock a part of it and curses get unlocked. There's one in India also, no? There's a temple in Kerala? the south. Yeah. Temple in the south where uh, there is vaults of wealth inside it. Gold, wealth and all of that. And the door looks like it's a very cursed door. I've not been to that site myself. I also think that's a bit of a conspiracy theory. But there are several parts. I mean, see, so, okay. This is a joke we make in the ASI. They say it Bhangar Fort in Jaipur is haunted, right? ASI ka guard rose wahin par baitta hai raat aur din. Usko kuch nahi hua abhi tak. Nothing happened to that man. There is a guard, there's a security guy there every single day, day and night. Nothing happened to him. But yet, you know, there are certain... Having said that, I'll say another thing. Angkor Wat, which is the largest temple in the world. It, it's in Cambodia. Um, the way the temple was made... Okay, there are many things I want to say about that temple. But the way the temple is made, there was this one scholar called Eleanor Manika. She did a study on the movement of energy around that temple. She measured that temple and she found that temple to have very precise um, uh, dimensions. Very precise, down to the decimal, you know. And then when you go to a temple, like I said earlier, you circumambulate the temple. So when a flow of people, of devoted devotees happens constantly over decades and over centuries in a certain way, energy gets channelized, right? So she even took scientific um, instruments over there to measure, is there a certain energy, movement of energy? And she did find that. So like I said earlier, there are various forces that exist beyond our capability to access and we must um, test, use our science to see if they, they do exist in that way. So there are many places that we can't go to because they are unstable. Um, there are many places we can't go to because people's beliefs are so strong that you cannot make it a scientific inquiry lab. You have to allow continuity of worship or whatever. So yeah, that happens all the time. One supplemental question here is, are there uh, secret or hidden chambers in a bunch of these temples slash places of worship? There are many chambers that are shut to the public. For example, in the Red Fort, the most beautiful part of the Red Fort is the Queen's Hammam. It is the most delicately carved marble of the Queen's Bath. And nobody's allowed to go there. And why? It's because the marble is so soft over there that if general traffic got there all the time, it would all crack and, you know, gray and it would just disintegrate. Mm. So there are many chambers in many places. The other thing is, in a lot of Mughal monuments in and around Delhi, you know, even if you go as far as Sonipat, some of them came up with tunnels that lead all the way to Delhi, you see. And those chambers are shut, for example right? Uh, they're shut for security reasons and stuff like that. So there are many things like that. But if you're talking about are they shut because of spiritual inhabitation or some kind of metaphysical reasons, um, at the ASI, we believe not. Uh, uh, at the ASI, we put things out of access primarily to conserve them and to stabilize the monument. Gotcha. If you enjoyed this video, just know that we've got a bunch of curated playlists on this channel just for you. So you don't have to consume every single subject that we cover on TRS, but you do have to consume the playlists that you enjoy the most. That's what I nudge you towards.